the cardiologist said, well, I don't see anything back there. And he did the same test that my doctor did at the office, so I don't know if it was a test that they missed on or what on the first one, but he said, uh, he said, well, there's two things you can do. He said, you can either, you can either uh, get an ultrasound on your heart or you can do nothing. And he's probably in his 40s, young guy. To me, of course, I'll be 70, so. But I, uh, I looked at him and I said, what would you do if it was your heart? And he said, I'd go ahead and get the ultrasound. And I said, that's what I thought. So had that done. And this was right during the, um, the pandemic itself. So I um, went through all that and everything was fine. They said, you know, you don't need to come back anymore. The cardiologist told me. And so I, um, I thought to myself, you know, maybe this is getting too much for me. So I decided to, um, Turned the uh, company over to my son. He had already been the, my youngest son. He went to work with me early on and he was already growing well with the company. And I just turned it over to him and he'll, he'll always be a better business owner than I ever was. And both of my grandkids work for him as route technicians. So it was a nice little legacy I seen. The company can go on and survive. But getting back to the heart situation, I got to thinking about it, and I think God laid this on my heart. It was more of a warning to me that this is kind of your shot across the bow that you need to retire. So I did retire, and this is what I'm doing now after retirement. I've been retired now about two years, and all I do is ride my e-bike, get stuff done around the house, and Lord, I take care, care of my e-bike better than I think I do my cars. And I'm coming up on my halfway point here, but once we get up here, I'm gonna I'm gonna um, flip the camera around here a little bit so you see a little bit of change here once I I'm filming actually from my chest here so you can get a good view of the trail. And I'm gonna talk about my bike a little bit. A lot of people out riding their bikes today. This is Friday, normally you see that. Yeah, this little point here will get you to about anywhere, any direction you want to go. This is called Xenia Station. And uh, it used to be an old rail, old railroad building where the trains used to stop at, and that's how they made the trail. So it's uh, pretty cool. But anyway, um, I'm down to about 57% on my battery, and I've already come 15.8 miles. I'm sorry, 63, I just bumped up, so that's pretty good. And I rode in pedal assist three most of the way. So I'm going to um, talk about my bike a little bit. So you can kind of get an idea what this thing looks like. Let me take this camera off here so you'll see a little bit of change here. But this is called the um, Cy Rusher Komoda. It is a 20 inch step through e-bike. Now some of the stuff I add is uh, added on to the bike, but um, I'll just go through a few of the things that's basic on this bike. It comes with this rack on the back, which is really nice. Uh, that come from the factory and it's got a 750 watt Bufang hub motor it's called a rear hub motor and it's also got zoom hydraulic brakes on it so that's a lot better than mechanical brakes and of course with this um, 
computer here it shows your trip mileage and your odometer and then uh, how much watts you're riding at what pedal assist you're in and uh, so it'll go up and down I'm in pedal assist 3 I'll go back to 1 this is eco this is where you can get a lot of mileage out of your battery you're going to get probably another 10 to 15 miles but it's kind of difficult riding in pedal assist 1 then when you go to 2 it'll probably get you up to about 15 16 mile an hour and then uh, as you increase you go to pedal assist 3 this will get you to about 20 to 21 mile an hour on the average as a cruising speed and then pedal assist 4 is called high and that'll get you uh, 23 to 24 mile an hour but of course you're using the battery a lot more when you get to these higher pedal assist speeds and then pedal assist 5 of course is called power and that's where you're going to max out at about 26 to 27 mile an hour and um, if you're riding at that speed you are um, you pretty much have a hard time keeping up with these pedals because if this thing will move now a couple of the accessories that I did buy for the bike I bought this bag and um, and as an add-on for the bike itself I purchased um, get this banana out of here my sandwich my halfway point I purchased this extra battery and then um, that'll allow me to go 60 to 70 miles if I want to and then of course I carry a battery operated um, tire pump and uh, so that actually is an addition to the bike and I bought the cup holder here of course got to drink my coffee it's pretty much all I take on my bike ride then I purchased these um, additional mirrors that I put on these are called bar end mirrors they just go right in the handle and um, it's got headlights here and they're pretty bright actually front and the back on the taillight and then you've got that little horn and then I bought a, um, a Bluetooth speaker here that I, if I want to listen to music or podcast, um, it's really nice. And then um, it's got front and rear suspension on the bike. And then here's your rear suspension here. And then um, they got folding pedals, which I'm not really sure why they made those. I think it's kind of dumb, but anyway, it does have folding pedals to it. And then the battery goes into this, um, it's called a down tube, and it's got a key hole here, right here, where I'll be switching the battery out here in a few minutes when I get done talking about the bike. And uh, that's um, where the battery goes. And again, um, the seat's very comfortable on this bike. It's, it's been a very comfortable seat. And um, I just wanted to show you a little bit about the bike and what, it, what it's like, what it does. And of course, it's got disc brakes on the front and back. But it's uh, been a very, very good bike as far as um, comfort for older people. You got this and they'll step through and you can see it's not far off the ground either. So um, if you've got any questions about the bike, and any comments, like I said, I've got about 850 miles on this bike now. So if you got any comments on it, uh, put it down in the comments section. And then um, if you have anything else you need to know again about the bike, its performance. But it's um, very happy with it. I paid $21.99 plus tax for this bike. When it first retailed about a year ago, it was about $25.99. But with all the competition coming in, these bike manufacturers are starting to lower their price on these bikes. One other thing I wanted to show you on this, that it's got a little charging port right here. You can either take the battery out to charge it, which has got your little charging port there. So you can leave the battery in there. I normally just leave it in there and then I'll um, charge this rear battery as well with that port there. But again, I just wanted to um, have a little ride along here about um, what the bike does and I just wanted to uh, have you ride along with me today but again please like the um, video if you don't like it please hit the subscribe button and share the video if you like and again this is Dan with Senior E-Bike Nation and I will see you 
on the next video.